It is May the 12th, 2015, and we are in the Sustainable Strawberry Project in the United Kingdom. One of the goals of the project was to determine what production system is optimal inside the retractable roof. And so one of the experiments was to look at different spacings of the growing troughs. So on this side of the house we have seven singly spaced growing troughs within the 7.3 meter space. And on this side we have 10 growing troughs in the 7.3 meters. So where we have seven single spaced, we have an even space in between each of the troughs to allow for access for personnel. Over here where we have the double troughs spaced vertically, there is approximately a 50% increase in plant density. So the total number of plants per square meter is approximately 50% higher than where we have the single troughs. The yield on the lower trough is approximately 30% less than the upper trough where the plants are receiving the maximum amount of light. So when you factor in the higher density with the lower yield on the lower trough, the overall yield per square meter is 8 to 9 percent higher in the double trough than the single trough. The optimum solution is to have the double troughs on an oscillating system. And so here we're still getting the higher plant density because of the double troughs, but because we can oscillate the troughs, we can ensure that the plants get uniform light levels so that we don't get a reduction in yield from the crops that are permanently lower. So for the future, the two methods of supporting an oscillating trough will be either a ground supported system like we see here, or to have the troughs suspended from the greenhouse truss overhead. And that way you will have the benefits of maximum yield per square meter helping to pay for the investment in the retractable roof.